ओके गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that block a weighs 10 pound and block b weighs 3 pounds this block a has a weight of 10 pounds and this block has a weight of 3 pounds and it is said that if b is moving downward with the velocity of this 3 feet per second at t equals to 0 determine the velocity of a when t equals to 1 second the coefficient of kinetic friction between the horizontal plane and the block is 0.15 so the coefficient of friction between the block and the surface is 0.15 so we can draw the free body diagram so the weight of the block a is going to act vertically downward let's say this is 10 the normal force is going to act vertically upward and if the block is moving towards the right if the block is moving towards the right the friction is going to act towards the left and that is the kinetic friction and this will be 0.15 times n and here we will have the if i isolate this block so here we will have the tension t in the row so this is the tension t so this is the free body diagram of this uh, block a but before going to consider the free body diagram of this block a we have to go for the dependent motion right so for dependent motion we have to define the datum lines so this is the datum lines for the motion of block a and this is the datum line for the motion of block b and the displacement of block a towards the left is considered to be positive and that is represented by sa and the displacement of block b in the downward direction is considered to be positive and that is represented by sb so for the length of the rope we can write that this as a plus this as b plus this as b so that will be equal to the total length of the cord so we can write that uh, as a plus 2 as b that is equal to the length of the cord and now if we take the derivative of uh, this equation with respect to time so that will be d as a divided by dt plus 2 dsb divided by dt and this is equal to dl divided by dt so this dsa divided by dt gives us va plus 2 vb equals to 0 so now we can write that va is equal to minus 2 vb from this equation and we are given vb1 so we can find va1 using this equation so from this equation we can write that va1 is equal to minus 2 vb1 the initial velocity so now vb1 is given this is given that vb1 is moving with 3 feet per second in the downward direction so i will write that this is minus 2 into 3 this gives us va1 equals to equals to minus 6 feet per second so the minus sign tells us that if block b is moving downward if it is moving downward then block a is moving towards the left in the negative direction of sa so the positive sa is in the, towards the left so the block is going to move in the downward direction so this is va1 which is 6 feet per second now similarly from this equation from this equation we can write that uh, vb is equal to minus va divided by 2 so this these are the uh, this is the initial velocity of block a and this is vb in terms of va now we are going to consider the free body diagrams of both the blocks separately so i i'm going to separate this uh block a so we will have that tension t in the cord we will have that same tension t in throughout the cord and similarly we can isolate <coughs> this block b and we will have that tension t here as well and we will have the tension t this is t and this is t and the weight of block b is going to act vertically downward that is 3 pounds now we will write we will apply the impulse uh the principle of impulse and momentum for both the blocks separately so first of all i am going to write for block e now for block a uh, we can write that ma va1 plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces that will be equal to ma and va2 
and we are uh, required to find the velocity of block a after t equals to one second so we have to integrate this from zero to one now the mass of a is the weight of a divided by g value which is 32.2 and va1 is given v, uh, va1 we, we have determined va1 va1 is minus 6 so i will multiply this with minus 6 and for block a we have two external forces we have this t as external force and we have this friction as an external force and since we are considering this principle of impulse and momentum in the horizontal direction and we are considering that towards the left is the positive direction right we i am going i am considering the, this principle of impulse and momentum and towards the left is the positive direction of the motion so now uh, this t is is acting in the negative direction of sa which is our positive direction this is our positive direction so according to our positive direction this t is going to produce this t is going to produce the negative impulse so i will write minus this is t dt this is from 0 to 1 and the friction force is going to produce the positive impulse so i will write plus 0 0.15 and dt and this is equal to mass of a mass of a is again 10 divided by 32.2 into va2 so va2 is not known we are going to find that velocity of the uh, block a after t equals to one second so this is again from zero to one seconds now for block a if we for block a if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y so as we can see that block a is only moving in the horizontal direction so there is no acceleration in the y direction so this equation will be equal to zero this will become zero so uh, and so we can say if, if this is our positive direction in the uh, in the vertical so then we can write that n minus 10 pounds for block a is equal to zero and we can say that n is equal to the weight of the block a so this is 10 pounds so n is now known so now i can write that uh, since this t is constant in this equation we can write this t outside of integration so we can write it like this this is And similarly, this 0 0.5 into n, this is constant, we can write this outside of integration. So we can write it like this. And now n is known, this is from 0 to 1, and n is known. So now if I integrate this, uh, this, so we will have, this will cancel out, and similarly, this will cancel out. So we will, we will be left with this. We will be left with this t into t from 0 to 1 and similarly here we will have 0 0.5 n into t 0 0.5 n into t from 0 to 1 now this is now if we put these limits if we put these limits so this will be instead of small t we have to write this will be t into 1 minus 0 right and similarly we will have 0 0.15 n it is plus 0 0.15 n into 1 minus 0 if we put those limits now 1 minus 0 is 1 and if we multiply it with t so we will be left with only t this is only t and similarly we will have this and now we know n which is equal to 10 right so this is 0 0.15 into 10 now we have this equation right so this in this equation we have two unknowns this t and this va2 so we need to have one another equation but for, before that i'm going to simplify this so i'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 32.2 so if i multiply both sides of this equation by 32.2 so we have to multiply each term of the left hand side with 32.2 and this is multiplied by 32.2 so this will cancel out similarly this will cancel out So now if we add up these constants, this is constant and this is constant, right? So this is 10 into minus 6 is minus 60. Let me write that this is minus 60. And then we have plus 0 0.15 into uh, 10 into 32.2, which gives us minus 11.7. So this is minus, minus 11.7 minus 32.2t. And this is equal to uh, 10 
VA2. So this is equation 1 which have two unknowns, right? Let's say this is equation 1. Now for block B, we are going to apply the principle of impulse and momentum and the downward direction is considered to be positive. We have to keep the same convention, right? Since SB is going to uh, SB was defined to be positive in the downward direction, so we are going to ap apply the uh, impulse uh, and momentum equation in the downward direction as positive, right? So again, we have formula B. We have to write that mass of B into VB1 plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces on block B will be equal to the mass of B times the velocity of B after t equals to 1 second. So we have to integrate this from 0 to 1 seconds. Now for mass of B is uh, mass of B is 3 the weight 3 divided by 32.2 into VB1 so VB1 is given which is 3 feet per second so I will multiply this with 3 and in the downward direction the uh, the velocity is uh, the block is moving in the downward direction so that is considered to be positive velocity so we have to put that positive positive 3 feet per second now the the T, the tensions are acting in the opposite direction of SB in our convention, that is in the opposite direction, so they are producing the negative impulse. So we have to write minus 2T dt. And similarly, the weight is, the three pound weight is producing the positive impulse since it is acting in the positive direction. So you will write plus, and that is 3 dt. And this is equal to the mass of B is again 3 divided by 32.2 and VB2. And since equation 1, this equation 1 is in terms of T and VA, so we have to write this equation in terms of T and VA. So now we know that VB is equal to minus VA divided by 2. So now from this equation we can write that VB2, or we can write that VB2 is equal to minus VA2. Right, so we will have the equation like this. So we have this equation, right, so we can replace VB2 by VA2. So here I can write that VB2, this VB2 is uh, minus VA2 divided by 2. Now to simplify this equation, I am going to multiply both sides of equation by 32.2. So I am going to multiply both sides of equation by 32.2. So we have to multiply each term with 32.2. So this is 32.2 and multiply by 32.2. So this will cancel out and similarly this will cancel out and we will be left with this 3 into 3 gives us 9 minus 32.2 and we can write this 2 out this 2t two outside of integration so this is 2t integral of dt from 0 to 1 and the integral of dt from 0 to 1 will give us only t and if we put these limits from uh, 0 to 1 so that will give us 1 right so that will be 1 minus 0 so that will be equal to 1 so we will be left with this the integral of dt from 0 to 1 will give us t from 0 to 1 and if we put these limits that will be 1 minus 0 so that will give us 1 so this constant 32.2 into 2t into 1 will give us this 32.2 into 2t and similarly the second integral that is this integral will give us this integral will give us plus 32.2 into 3 and the integral of dt from 0 to 1 will give us 1 so we will be left with this now this is equal to this is equal to minus 3 va 2 divided by 2 now if i divide this whole equation by 2 right so this is 9 divided by 2 then this divided by 2 and then this is divided by 2 and divided by 2 so this will cancel out since we want to have the same coefficient of t in both equation in equation 1 we have the coefficient of t is 32.2 and we want to have that same coefficient in order to solve these two equations simultaneously so now we have this 9 divided by 2 we have these two constants this 9 divided by 2 plus this so 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 plus 
32.2 into 3 divided by 2 this gives us 52.8 so 52.8 minus 32.2 t and this is equal to this is equal to minus 3 divided by 4 this is minus 3 divided by 4 so minus 3 divided by 4 is minus 0 0.75 VA2 now this is equation 2 now if I write this equation 1 here right if, if I write and now if, if I subtract equation 1 from 2 so now if I subtract this equation 1 from 2, so we, we can write that we have to reverse this sign. So this will become positive, this will become positive, and this will become negative. So now 52.8 plus 11.7, 52.8 plus 11.7, this gives us 64.5, this is 64.5, and this will cancel out since minus 32.2t plus 32.2t will become 0. And this is equal to minus 10.75 VA2. And now from this we can write that VA2, the velocity of block A after T equals to 1 second is equal to 64.5 divided by minus 10.75. So 64.5 divided by 10.75. This gives us 6. So VA2. comes out to be minus 6 feet per second so after t equals to 1 second the block a is moving in the negative direction of sa with a velocity of 6 feet per second right so from this we can write that va2 is the magnitude is 6 feet per second and it is moving towards the right that is in the negative direction of sa so the positive direction of sa is in this direction this is the positive direction of sa so after t equals to 1 second block a is moving towards the right with a velocity of 6 feet per second. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems.